Hey, what's going on there, everybody? My name is Hayden Adams with A Designer That Codes. In today's example, I wanna show you how you can use Google Fonts. Hello, world. You can see it's right here using the Shadows Into Light Google Font that you can find on Google Font inside of Gatsby JS. And with that, let's get started. All right, welcome back. I am using the Hello World starter library. You can find that if I go back up in my terminal. I'm using the github.com slash gatsbyjs slash gatsby starter hello world. And we can see that if we copy and paste it. Come on, where'd it go? There it is. It looks like this. There's nothing crazy about it. The reason why I want to use this is because all it has is hello world. I can strip away all the other code and just focus on one thing, changing the type. And the best part about it is for these tutorial videos that the code looks like this. Export default, hello world. I like to bring this down a little bit just so I can have a little more workable area. As we use in JSX, you have to wrap something around a tag in order for it to work. So I can always say hello world, or this will be a Google font. And since I am running a development server, if I save, boop, this will be a Google font. So if you are following along, do know that I already kicked this into Gatsby develop and I'm running the GitHub of the Gatsby JS Gatsby starter hello world. So the first thing I want to do, since we are running this version and there is nothing else, is I want to build a custom CSS because in Google Fonts, I have to use CSS to tell the font where to go. It's a little bit of step two after step one, but it still is going to work out in the long run. I'm going to create a new file and I am using, if you are here for the first time, first off, welcome. I am Hayden with the Design of the Codes. And my favorite tool to use for coding is the About Visual Studio Code. This software is made by Microsoft. And <laughs> I'm like, really, Microsoft? But yes, it does work so, so well. So just as a side note, I am running Visual Studio Code. You can run whatever software you want as long as it achieves the same outcome. I'm going to create a new file and save it. And... I'm gonna go out of my circ folder, my source. If you've ever watched me before, you've heard me then say circ versus source. That's just the way I call it. I've been teaching for a lot of years and I just developed the habit of saying circ versus source. I'm gonna go in and say new folder and say CSS and call this one custom.css. I wanna link the custom file to my index file. So I'm gonna go up here at the top and after import react, I'll say import quotes period period slash to go out of my pages folder into my CSS folder and say custom dot CSS. And if we save it and check it out, well, one, we should check the terminal to always make sure that when we resave that little green success shows up and nothing changes. That's because we have nothing in our custom CSS file. And H1, we're going to just say color green. This is to ensure that our custom CSS file works. And we also have to change this will be a Google font to H1, this will be a Google font. And if I save it, yay, this will be a Google font. It made it bigger and it made it green. By default, H1s come with bold if you haven't had anything else. So you could always say font style, you can always say normal, and that'll bring it down. Oh wait, not font style. Let's try font weight. There you go. By default, 400 is normal. So if you do not want a heavier font, you can kick it to 400. So the reason why I'm doing this, minus my mess up in code, is because I wanna make sure that this H1 will change when I implement the code over here. And it's more like a checkbox. I go, hey, my CSS is working, it's turning green, and I just kicked the font weight to 400 just because I could. 
by default, once again, H1s, H2s, H3s. I don't know if H4 does. I don't really go down that far in terms of H's, but they're almost always bold by default. So I said font weight 400 just to ensure that this font stays that style. And I turned it green more so I could see it visually on the screen turn this green color so I know that the custom CSS and the index.js file works. Let's go over and apply a Google font to this. To find the Google fonts, all you have to do is go to fonts.google.com. So they do have a new version. So there is return to classic. I am running a new version of the fonts.google.com. It's just an updated UI usability look. So just FYI, if you do see a new version, don't worry, it's just the new usability thereof of Google Fonts. So let's actually try to bring in one of these fonts. And because it's easier to see something very display-like, let's look at either the display and or handwriting fonts and see, you know what, let's actually go for a handwriting font because those are just so much fun and I never get to use them. So you know what, I'm gonna use it. Let's use Sacramento because this looks amazing. Awesome, Sacramento. Where are you at? If you ever heard of California Love by Tupac, then he does mention Sacramento. Okay, I digress. Let's actually use this font. I clicked into this font, Sacramento. You can do both on the screen. Oh, where'd it go? There it is. I lost Sacramento. Literally, Sacramento, where are you at? So if I click Sacramento, I'm gonna go into the font and I can say select this style. From here, what I can do is review the font and I can choose other styles if there were any more styles, but it's only 400. And so I'm gonna click on embed. And embed says to embed a font, copy the code into the head of your HTML. Well, as you can see, there's no head of the HTML in JSX. It will create a head of a HTML when you actually do a Gatsby build, but by default, it's not there. So traditionally what I would do is go to import and say, you know what, this will take my CSS. So I'm gonna copy because style to style is CSS code. And I'm gonna use import and custom CSS, put it at the top up here. And then I can use Sacramento for a font family. So what I'll do is I'll copy the CSS rules to specify families. So up here, Font family, Sacramento, cursive, color, you know, we can take color green out. Let's save this. And there will be a Google font. Now, what I don't like doing all the time is importing the CSS because this has to load second after the HTML. So for a split second, it's kind of hard to see because now it's already cached and we're already good here. But this font loads second to the HTML. That's also why the link comes first. It's the preferable method of Google to put Sacramento into the HTML inside the head. So how do we get this font into the head of our HTML using JSS and Gatsby? Thankfully, there's a plugin for that. Let's do a Google search for Gatsby JS and we'll also search for Google fonts. And what you can find is under Gatsby JS, there's a package for Gatsby plugin Google fonts. So what I have to do first is I have to stop my server, hitting Control C on the Macintosh. And I do use Yarn. If you watched any of my other videos, you know that I do use Yarn almost all the time, comparatively speaking, to NPM. Nothing personal, I just use Yarn. So what I have to do is to utilize this Gatsby plugin Google Fonts is I have to install or yarn add Gatsby plugin Google Fonts. Let's do that. And while it's running, the reason why I like doing it this way is because the font will be loaded into the head section versus my CSS. The CSS will come second. Now, when we do run Gatsby, when we say a second, it's like a nano micro, nano microsecond. It's a half second. And 99.99999% of people will not even notice that your font was a traditional sans serif or a serif. 
before kicking into Google. But this is just my way of ensuring that it just loads that much cleaner and faster into Gatsby JS. Let this thing run for a few more seconds while I stay on my soapbox and talk. The reason also why, since I have some time here, that I do like Google Fonts is it's truly free. Uh, they pretty much, there's probably a pricing game where if you go beyond a certain level of a couple million hits to Google, there probably is. And if there is, then I haven't seen it anywhere in the listing area when it comes to different pieces. And I'm not going to hide this. But the important part is Google Fonts is free. Why? Because Google provides the service. In return, you use Google. More things go to Google, more things Google becomes more powerful. That being said, it's free and the fonts are pretty darn good to use. I've been using Google Fonts now for almost 10 years and I just think it gets better and better with each passing month. All right, we did install the package of the Gatsby plugin Google Fonts. Let's go take a look and see what's going on. So if we go, I am running Hello World. This is gonna look very, very barren than probably what you're running with in your video. But I'm gonna to go to Gatsby Config. I am using VS Code or Visual Studio Code. And that's pretty much all you get. You just get the module exports. But the great part about it is the module exports deal with the plugins. So what I can do is I can truly just grab the plugins area and just drag it down and copy it. So I can put your config here, paste it in, and now my module exports include my plugins, include the Gatsby plugin Google Fonts. The options for fonts include XYZ. Now in here with Limelight, this is a default font that they put in. And if you want styles and fonts and weights, you have to say font backslash, it is not a forward slash, and you say pro, and of course, Source Sans Pro, colon, font weight, font weight, font weight, italics, and bold. In this case, I'm gonna take it all out because I don't need this font. In fact, I'll just go like that. And all I'm worried about is not saying limelight, but saying Sacramento. And we can use the same wording up here as we just say Sacramento. There it is. So I'm gonna copy and paste it literally. Display a swap, that's totally fine. I'm also gonna say custom CSS. I will take out the import to see if it works. And let's see if I run Gatsby develop, if it throws an error at me or if it works successfully. This is always that moment of truth. I always kind of have like a mini golf clap to go, it should work or did I mess it up? And I could have copied and pasted something. There's a lot of things that can go wrong. But the great part about code is it gives you an error message if something goes wrong and it didn't. So if I command click on localhost 8000, check it out. This will be a Google font. And now it only comes through, there's no more CSS code. It's only in the Gatsby config that Sacramento runs and it applies to the CSS, which of course the H1 applies to the H1 right here. And this is how you can run a Google font using the Gatsby plugin Google Fonts in Gatsby JS. Check us out on patreon.com where you can download the source code at any of these videos you see here and supporting us just costs at minimum $3 per month. Thank you for your support.